for LaPlata's Mallory Idol, she got the day started just right by winning the long jump at 16 feet 6 inches. A four-year regular at the state meet, this was her first individual win. It felt pretty good. I mean, I wanted to win it like the past couple of years, but last year I got second, and it felt pretty great to be on the top this year. Next, Putnam County's Dion Hunt Jr. took 11th in the high jump. Moving on to the track, Knox County's McKenzie Hosted qualified 7th for tomorrow's 100-meter hurdles final. Boys won 10 hurdles. Novinger's Trevor Stocks just missed qualifying for the finals by a tenth of a second. However, LaPlata's Taylor Snodgrass ran a 12.88 in the 100-meter dash, which is good for fifth in tomorrow's final. To the 100-meter dash when Novinger's Keaton Tate and Brashear's Hayden Huseman also just missed the finals, placing ninth and 12th. Schuyler County's 4x200 relay boys team finished 15th. However, a member of that relay team, Rhett Cook, took home first in the 400-meter dash and will be in the finals tomorrow. For KTVO Sports, I'm Brandon Smith. We start at the 3A boys distance medley where Centerville's Peyton Bush took the baton on the anchor leg, needing to make up a lot of ground. He did just that, pulling away on the backstretch and then holding on for the win, a state championship for the Big Reds. Never, never guess if you're winning by a mile, you just got to keep going. And that's what I did. I tried to finish hard and hopefully cross before he did and just have to work out that way. Nicole Harnish also had a good day getting three points for Eddieville Blakesburg as she finishes sixth in the 2A discus. Sydney Howard had a great day yesterday moving on to the 100 and 200 finals. Here she is anchoring the 4x2 for Fairfield. The Trojans' time was good for eighth. In the most exciting finish of the day, Brandon Mormon of Mount Pleasant loses by a hundredth of a second in his heat of the 110 hurdles, but he still moves on to the finals. Van Buren's Hannah Haynes got off to a fast start in her 100-meter hurdle, but she faded, falling out of finals contention. The Panthers of Mount Pleasant did a great job at the 100-meter hurdles. Both Leslie Taylor and Kelsey Phipps advanced to the finals. Pekin ran an excellent distance medley in their heat, blowing away the competition, but they only managed a ninth-place finish overall. Will Kincard of Davis County averaged 153 feet, 11 inches, and couldn't crack the top eight in 2A discus. Finally, in the 3A 4x1, Mount Pleasant ran a 51-69, good for only 14th. I'm Johnny Mangano, KTVO Sports.